Hi everyone, Donut here. I have something very disturbing to show you today. Video was recently released showing a US Army soldier striking an unarmed black man for no reason at all. The video starts off with an unarmed black man walking down the road, minding his own business, when a US soldier charges him and strikes him three times in the face. Yeah, I'm good. No, this is mine now. The soldier tells other people to call the cops, probably because he wants the cops to just show up and shoot him, and we all know why they would do that. Thankfully, though, we have some strangers who step in and try to help this poor man. This poor, poor innocent man. And we know exactly what happened because we just watched the video. Stop you, it! You can't fuck with me! Stop! Stop! I count one, two, three, four brave bystanders. I don't know if you caught that, but the soldier said he spit on my car and hit it with a skateboard. <laughs> okay, racist. Thankfully, even more heroes show up and try to help this man who did nothing wrong. And then there's this guy defending the soldiers saying, you guys don't know the facts. Oh, you do not know what happened all day. At least understand the facts. At least understand the facts before you open your mouth. Clearly, a second racist has entered the chat. Mr. Lying Ass, Head Ass, Red Shirted Liar. Let's get a closer look at this baby killer. You think you're entitled because you're in the army? Go fuck yourself, dude. Call your fucking boss. You think that's cool? Yeah, come on. Come at me, bro. I'm not with the I'm I'm waiting. Waiting. You're breathing, right? You're good? Oh, yeah, man. Right. I've been waiting for somebody to sitting on prove, his chest. To, oh, to down, prove. I've been waiting for someone to see what these motherfuckers can do. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. This guy looks so angry. Like, super angry. He almost looks like he might be a cop, too. God, will we ever solve this mystery? Perhaps we could use some of the best, most expensive forensic software I bought directly from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Enhance. 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 Mother of God. Oh, what have you been up to, Rich? <laughs> Beating up poor old black men walk down the street, mind their own damn business, apparently. So what had happened was, the entire day before Angry pulled up to run a simple errand, the guy had been running around the street terrorizing people all day. He was pulling out his pecker and showing it to people. He was trying to hit people with a skateboard. He was spitting on people. So the police were called, and the police got a social worker out there. According to reports, police officers and a social worker were called to check on the bizarrely acting person, but found he was not a threat to himself or others, explained Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo. Shortly after, people who saw the scuffle said Rich High, who police say was running an errand in the neighborhood, warned the man to get out of the street before someone gets hurt. At that point, witnesses and police both say the man hit High's truck while spitting and throwing a skateboard at the officer. Basically, the guy targeted Rich because he was wearing his army uniform. He said some things about the military, called Rich a pussy, and then went aggressively towards him. Well, Rich, without skipping a beat, defended himself. Yeah, I'm good. No, this is mine now. Rich throws an elbow, throws another elbow, throws a punch, gets the guy on the ground and sits on his chest until police arrive. Pretty cut and dry case of self-defense. But some people see things differently and believe Richard High's actions were too aggressive and were stoking racial tensions. 
It was really terrible. He didn't have to do what he did to him. The guy has a problem. He really does. I think we can all agree that the guy does have some mental health issues, but does that make him any less dangerous to Rich? Nope, Rich handled business and the guy looks okay to me, but the video's not over yet. Let's keep going. He shouldn't sit on his chest. Should we jump him? Oh, you hit Should we jump him? Oh, you hitting him? You hitting people? What's up? You hitting him? You hitting people? Oh, yeah, I hit him. You hitting no people? You hitting no people? I wasn't. No. Fortunately, another hero pulls up in a wheelchair and pulls out a baseball bat on Rich. Says, are you hitting people? Rich says, yeah. You hitting no people? Yeah. You hitting no people? Stop. 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 Right now. Stop. 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 I'm not gonna let him hit me first, man. Just like you. I'm not gonna let you hit me first, man. I've been waiting. 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 I've been Fortunately for our good friend Angry Cops, he did not get in trouble. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere if the guy was arrested. I don't know if he was arrested or not. You can hear him at the end complaining about his neck and his head hurting, which he's probably full of shit. You can see him smiling at the first. It looks like he wants to get paid. Sorry, I haven't posted anything in a couple days. I was celebrating my birthday. I turned 33 the other day. Yeah, I know it's late, but I'm gonna be at twitch.tv slash download operator streaming as soon as this video is released. Please come hang out, check out my merch, check out my Patreon, check out my vlog channel. I'm gonna put a bunch of content on there this upcoming week. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Whacker.